day 573, day rating 7, in bed, I'm tired, it's been a long day, got up, <laughs> went to go walk the pub, and yesterday was really nice, and so this morning I walked up, or walked out with shorts and t-shirt on, and I didn't even get out the door, and I just said, nope, <laughs> I shut the door, came back in with the pup and said, let me get a jacket. Got a jacket, walked around for about 30 minutes, came back, she was fine. Ended up texting my brother and he said, hey, we're over here. And he was driving out of the parking lot to go get some bagels. He said, we'll be right back. I said, okay, let me feed the dog and I'm gonna go try to check out the breakfast here and see what they got. He got back before I could get out there. So I was trying to hustle and get ready, make sure the pup was okay. And now she's barking at someone outside because they're talking. But Oh, she's not going to come down. Anyways, went to the National Park today. We were in the Teton National Park, and these mountains are amazing. Just spectacularly amazing. Just I could could have just sat there all day, just had a little picnic table right by the lake, and just looked at them, and they were just so breathtaking. Just taking these things in was a big part of the day. It was great. But then the family wanted to go see Old Faithful, so we went to the next national park, which is we're almost connected. <clears throat> so we drove over there. It was about an hour, hour and a half drive to get in. And we parked and we only waited about five minutes and then we saw Old Faithful erupt. Came back, started driving around and looking for another place to stop to have a little lunch. And before we stopped, we saw two different bison on the side of the road. So everyone slowed down. One of the bison was even in the middle of the street. <laughs> so blocking traffic and we didn't mind. It was really great to take it in and be feet from them. So, hey, 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 you're okay. Calm down, calm down. And then after that, we found a place to have a little picnic. And I wish at that point I was in my car because I would have got on my paddleboard and said, I'll be right back because this view was just fantastic. Nice, calm water, clear. And then we had a nice little lunch. Oh, we. My mom had packed a bunch of sandwiches and some apples and chips and jerky and licorice and the mixed nuts and peanut butter jelly and just it was so much food I wish I would have been hungry for more but I think I didn't eat that much because I didn't didn't get a run before <sighs> I've just been doing a lot of sitting with the driving so I haven't been able to burn that many calories. So I just had my, I think it was turkey and ham sandwich with avocado and cheese. Had some salsa verde chips, then some Cool Ranch, and then a handful of the licorice. It was a little licorice bites. That was good. And then <clears throat> while driving around, I had two pieces of jerky and a red apple. So probably little bit full from that two hours earlier but man it was it was great just to be out there great day it was it was just amazing to take it all in I wish we had more time but the pup was here I was told multiple times that it's not a dog friendly place dogs not allowed <clears throat> I got not let's say upset but I just felt bad because I had to leave her here and she did great on her own, but I saw 10, 12 dogs out there. So everything we did today, I could have taken her. I just feel bad I didn't. I should have just said, I'm going to take her. If I can't take her, I'm going to head back. I'll find somewhere where I can walk around with her. Because, I mean, one, she's my dog. Two, she made the trip with me. And I just thought it was unfair to just keep her in here all day, so... And then we came back, my brother's feeling sick, so hey, I'm going to drive back to the car. And since we only took two cars, 
I had asked if he could take me back to my car. As we drove back, and there's another 15 minutes to get back over here to the hotel. Oh, oh, excuse me, but he was feeling sick. I'm not sure if he got a little car sick because of all the driving and up and down zigzags, and switchbacks, whatever. But, yeah, it could have been that. Just the driving in the car and the sun hitting him. So I came back, grabbed the dog, and just went for a long walk. We were outside for about 45 minutes. And... <laughs> The pup was just got a little tired. She had to stop twice in the shade. We found the two little grassy spots, and she just sat there and just hung out for a bit. And said, "All right, let's let's head back." Came back, drank a ton of water, and then within about two minutes, she was out. She just went from completely bored to long walk, and I'm gonna sleep. Huh, puppies? Huh? You had a good nap. And I thought she was going to be out the rest of the night. And so I was, I was wanting to take her to this little barbecue place right behind us. And just get her some chicken and have her eat with me. Or possibly take her over to the little dog friendly trail. But after the walk, she was exhausted. So she slept about an hour and a half. And the place was closing. so it, And it was dark out. So... Just ordered some pizza and chicken, and gave her some chicken. I'm over the pizza crust, so she she's good. She had a, a little walk, and she's doing well. And that was the day. I'm just sitting here watching TV. My legs are really taxed from that hill yesterday. It was not a great length of a hill that I was able to make it up but man it was just steep and my quads are just all day been sore every time I sit down again and try to get up I can feel and they're just not cooperating <laughs> they're definitely on vacation but I've been watching some Marvel movies on TV that's what the cable's showing so I've just been turning it on and I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm gonna try to get up early. Go for a light trail, trail hike with a pup in the morning, and come back, pack up, and head out. And that'll be the day. So tomorrow is gonna be another, another day of driving. So we'll see what happens. Let's go run your life with health and happiness, and have a good night.